but we met a lot more stars than you remember. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 stars you forgot were on Boy Meets World. Oh, no, Trini. Um, I, I really find your infectious, perky energy. Just be, would you give me that? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at actors that appeared on the TV sitcom that you probably didn't remember. Some of these actors were guest stars, while others were bit players who would go on to achieve fame. My girl. My girl. Number 10, Sheen West. Hey. <laughs> Probably best known for starring in A Walk to Remember, Shane West has had a number of recognizable roles in film, TV, and even on stage. Before he played Landon Carter, West typically guest starred in shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and, of course, Boy Meets World. So you must be the old boyfriend, right? Oh, so she's, she's talked about me, huh? No. Those are the only ones who ever jump on my back. Following Cory and Topanga's breakup, she started dating a handsome young man with great hair, played by none other than West, in an episode where they shared a passionate kiss. West hasn't forgotten his humble roots and even posted a nostalgic post on Instagram from his brief appearance on Boy Meets World. Number 9. The Monkees I got sunshine on a cloudy day we suppose it shouldn't come as a surprise that a musical group that got its start on a TV show would appear on Boy Meets World. The Monkees had the tendency to pop up in early episodes of the show, with three of the four members appearing during its run. Let's see, my girl, how does that go? Well, I remember the melody, I'm kind of blanking on the lyrics. Yeah, me too. Mickey Dolenz, Davy Jones, and Peter Tork appeared together as musicians in the episode Rave On, with Tork holding the distinction of being the first in a long line of actors to play Topanga's father, Jedediah Lawrence. Hey, Mr. Lawrence. Ooh, harsh. We bet they could have been bigger than the Beatles. I guess you say what can make me feel this way. Number 8. Rue McClanahan. Okay, open up a lane, I'm coming through. Turns out that Corey's grandma was not only a Rolling Stone, but one of the Golden Girls as well. To be more specific, Rue McClanahan, who's best known for playing Blanche Devereaux, also guest starred as Bernice Matthews in this episode. I'm from the South. <laughs> Flirting is part of my heritage. The accomplished actress was a perfect fit for the part of the free-spirited grandma who came in and out of Corey's life like a tumbleweed. <laughs> McClanahan also did a great job hinting at Grandma's mysterious past. Perhaps best of all was her allusion to Johnny Cash, telling Corey she shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. <laughs> and then I pried that out of his cold, dead fingers. <laughs> or I bought it for seven bucks at a swap meet. You make the call. <laughs> Number 7. Melissa Joan Hart. I love this balcony. You do? Yeah, it's got a great view of the river. And you can see that guy watching TV in his underwear. Today, everyone loves a good crossover. And fans of ABC's massively popular 90s Friday night sitcom lineup, TGIF, were no different. The two biggest shows from that lineup at the time were unquestionably Boy Meets World and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And when a Halloween episode featured a coven of witches, it was only natural to have Sabrina cameo. Surprise! Oh, look, a party! Sort of. The episode also featured Candace Cameron Bure of Full House fame as a member of the Evil Coven. Lord of Darkness, ruler of the anguished on All Hallows Eve. Despite foiling these evil witches' plans, Eric had nothing against witches as a whole and even went on a date with Sabrina herself. I'm sorry, Sabrina. <laughs> My buddy just came off kind of a spooky relationship. He was he was dating a uh Oh well, I'll, I'll just say it. He was dating a witch. What's so spooky about that? Number six, Jennifer Love Hewitt. London? Excuse me. Kill her! Kill her! You're the killer! 
just when it looked like the Witches of Penbrook was destined to go down as the most surreal episode, and then there was Sean premiered just a few months later. This is just like that movie, Killer, Killer, You're the Killer, and I knew you are going to tell me that. I'm gonna... not the killer. I believe you. <laughs> Considered by many to be the best episode of the series, this uproarious half hour, played with tropes of 90s slasher films, including I Know What You Did Last Summer, which starred Jennifer Love Hewitt. Look, Helen, this could be our chance. Okay, we could catch him. Ironically, Hewitt played a parody of herself named Jennifer Love Pfefferman, or Feffy. It seemed like love at first sight for Feffy and Eric, mirroring the actor's real-life relationship at the time, until they were both tragically killed by a bunch of books. The killers. <laughs> at least it was all a dream. Number 5. Fred Savage Nice haircut. Thanks. Eight bucks. Looks like it. <laughs> Boy Meets World was filled to the brim with in-jokes, and having Ben Savage's older brother appear in a guest role was only natural. Long before Ben Savage became famous for playing Quarry, Fred Savage gained fame for another sitcom, The Wonder Years, as well as for appearing in The Princess Bride. Come on, let's walk around for a while. It was those likable roles and his relation to Ben Savage that made us want to trust the elder Savage's character, Stuart, a cool young teacher. I'm your teacher and I think you're attractive. And now we're not talking about the paper. Have we crossed the line? However, Stewart showed his true colors when he made unwanted advances on his student Topanga and was subsequently punched in the face by Corey. Congratulations. You just got yourself kicked out of college. Number four, Brittany Murphy. <laughs> what am I going to do? Topanga's my best friend. She's always my partner. You know, there are so few people who get me. Really now. Around the same time that she had her first major role in 1995's Clueless, Brittany Murphy appeared in a similar role on Boy Meets World. Murphy popped up in two episodes as the annoying best friend of Topanga, Trini. Now that Corey's here, I am sure that you two don't want me hanging around. <laughs> well, actually, Trini... Oh, okay. I'll stay. But just for one more hour. Corey initially enlists Trini in a plan to make Topanga jealous, although it turns out that Trini and Sean are the ones really pulling all the strings. Oh my god. <laughs> I am so flattered. <laughs> Why? Coinciding with a major change in appearance, Murphy became a rising star in the 2000s, starring in films like 8 Mile and Sin City. However, Murphy's career was tragically cut short when she died in 2009 at just 32 years old. Wait, what in the devil did you do to him? Number three, Adam Scott. I'm not usually a morning person, but I wanted to make a good impression. You may know Adam Scott as the dorky and lovable Ben Wyatt on Parks and Recreation, or from films like Step Brothers. You know, Pawnee is a really special town. I, I love living there. Long before that, he was Griff Hawkins, who replaced Harley as the leader of the school bullies at John Adams High. Hey, kid. Room 103. And take good notes. <laughs> Scott's natural comedic chops and charm were in full effect for the role, as he used sweet talk and good looks rather than violence and intimidation to get what he wanted. Matthews, relax. It's gonna be okay. Obviously, you've never done detention with Griff. Scott's run on the show was brief, only appearing in a few episodes, but he still managed to be a welcome and very cool addition. Number two, Carrie Russell. Oh, <laughs> hi, I'm Eric. I'm Jessica. <laughs> Strep throat cleared up, did it, Mr. Matthews? In the same episode that Corey was hanging out with his golden girl grandmother, Mr. Feeney had a familial visit as well, his teenage niece, Jessica. She's adorable. <laughs> She's not the only one. Prodded by Mr. Feeney to entertain her, Eric was reluctant at first to do so until catching a glimpse of the curly-haired beauty. So I didn't have to work so hard. Who said you had to work at all? A few years after her role as Jessica, Russell would land the title role on J.J. Abrams' breakout drama, Felicity. So, uh, can we just be friends? Yeah, sure. Great. Of course, yeah. Russell would go on to star in the critically acclaimed show The Americans, as well as appearing in a number of movies like Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. You think I'm crazy? I'm worried. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The only good show that was ever on television, everybody knows this, is ALF. 
Well, you sure like to get a lot of information before you let somebody take a kid, huh? Well, normally we just pull names out of a hat. <laughs> but we really like Tommy. Well, maybe sometime we could go on a picnic. Eat outside? Why? Just two people sitting on a blanket, really listening to what the other has to say. Number one, Linda Cardellini. What's your first name? Corey. Mine's Lauren. Lauren, despite only appearing in a handful of episodes, remains one of the most famous, or perhaps infamous, characters in the show's history. That cute mountain girl who kissed Corey came to represent any doubts he had about his relationship with Topanga. You know, you can still see the picture if you use a little imagination. Yeah, there's a curly-haired kid falling off a bus. <laughs> and the cute mountain girl coming to his rescue. As memorable as Lauren was, many fans failed to realize she was played by Linda Cardellini, who soon after starred on the cult classic Freaks and Geeks and played Velma in the Scooby-Doo films. You wanna make out or something? Cardellini would go on to be in Mad Men and the Avengers franchise, while Lauren had a son at the ski lodge who showed up in Girl Meets World. Yes? My mother says hello. Oh. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.